Yesterday, in our first reading, we started to hear from St. Paul's letter to the Colossians. And today, he is encouraging them and he is thanking God for their faith. So, Paul wasn't actually there when the Colossians Christians received the faith. He's heard about their faith and he's excited about it and he's encouraging in that, them in that. And he says he, him and his fellow workers are praying for them that they might have a deep knowledge of God's will and that they might then act and live as good Christians would. He's saying that their greater knowledge of what God, of who God is and his will for them will help them to continue to live in a holy manner of life. And it's a pretty basic principle for us as well that our knowledge of God and of his will for us helps us to live in a better way, to more deeply understand what our call is. When we understand God and his love for us and the way that he's called us to love as well, then it's a lot more simple at least to understand the way we are called to live. And it can be difficult at times for us to see that, especially when we can see that our thoughts, our words, and our actions at times can be even contrary to what we know God is calling us to. We have been stained with original sin, and so we are human beings that make mistakes. Yet the ways that we grow in those areas are by continuing to learn more about God, continuing to rely on his mercy for us and his love for us, and by doing that, then coming to know him more greatly and each day increasing in our holiness. So with St. Paul today, let's ask God for a greater knowledge of his will for us individually and to know his himself that we might continue to grow in holiness each and every day of our lives.